The standard entropy of a substance, S standard, is the entropy of one mole of the substance at a specified temperature, such as 298 Kelvin. Worked example 14.4 shows how the standard molar entropy is calculated from other data, and it's for chlorine in this case. Let's think about the strategy for this worked example. The first thing we assume is that the entropy of chlorine is zero at zero kelvins. This makes the fair assumption that chlorine obeys the third law of thermodynamics. So now we have a baseline from which we'll build up the standard entropy stage by stage, adding together all the entropy changes as you go from zero kelvin to 298 kelvin. The key is to, show it, is to draw a diagram like this one, which shows all the stages involving entropy changes. Then you work out the entropy change for each stage. And there are two kinds of entropy change. The first involves simply heating the Cl2 without changing state, for example, heating from solid at 0 Kelvin to solid at 172 Kelvin. And then the, the other kind of entropy change involves the change of state, for example, when solid Cl2 at 172 K melts to form the liquid. So first, let's look at the entropy changes involved in heating, and we've got the data for all of these. So first, for the heating of solid at 0 Kelvin to 172 Kelvin, and then we've got the data for heating liquid at 172 to liquid at 239, and finally for heating gas at 239 to 298 Kelvin. Now we need to look at the entropy changes involved in changes of state, and let's look, for example, at the melting of the solid at 172 Kelvin. The entropy change for this stage is called the entropy change of fusion. Remember, fusion means the same thing as melting. And we use the expression that delta S fusion equals delta H fusion, the enthalpy change, divided by the melting point. And we've got the data for the enthalpy change of fusion and the melting point, so we can put the data in there. And we take a similar approach to find the entropy change of vaporization when the liquid goes to the gas. And we've got the data for that as well. So now we have all the separate delta S terms for each step. And all we need to do is to add them all together to get the standard molar entropy at 298 Kelvin. And its value comes to plus 223 joules per Kelvin per mole. Notice that it's a positive sign. Standard molar entropies always have positive signs, although, of course, entropy changes may have positive or negative signs.